Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Nice Star Gamer, and we are playing some more Acrobus. What what's wrong with this guy? Hold up. You okay, buddy? You okay? I know what cures an episode stomach. Punch in the face! Oh he he moved. Punch in the face! There we go. There we go. Anyway, yeah, so welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't think I should be going that way. What we're doing? Okay, over here. Bam! Uh -huh. Up the elevator we go. Or escalator. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Oh, what game is that? So weird. A game is awesome. like a pretty damn good game. All right. I might have to turn those little sounds down because that's a really, really loud. Oh, bunch of cute girls. Okay. This place. Digging this. Yay! I did a mission. Is this Mogra? It is. Welcome back, Master. Hello, Katie. Not even gonna pretend to say that name. Oh, is it really you? Nope. You've been gone for three you, whole you, days. You might be talking about my sister. Where you been? Ah, got kidnapped, turned into a vampire, then turned into an even stronger vampire. The hell were you thinking, disappearing like that? I thought for sure you'd been kidnapped! I literally was kidnapped, you idiot! And what's with the high-quality 3D next to you? Something smells real fishy here. What the hell are you talking about? Save my life for DD- Oh yeah, I can tell you're real worried. So you did get yourself caught up in something dangerous. I knew it. <laughs> I was drinking peach juice, so I could not talk. How can I explain this to them? Uh, pretty easily, actually. You got kidnapped, then you got turned into a vampire, then you made up with a girl and got turned into a stronger vampire. Pretty simple. Doesn't make any damn sense, but it's explainable. Are you serious? Man, I never would have guessed all those rumors floating around Akiba were actually true. Rumors? What, you mean you haven't heard them? There have been like a million clips about it. People getting kidnapped and turned into monsters, then terrorizing the locals. Yeah, that's... They steal life energy from people. In oh, other words, yeah. they drain their vitality, effectively killing all enthusiasm and zeal. Okay. So what you're saying is those recent news reports of people being discovered in deeply lethargic states... It's because they've been attacked by these... synthesters? Yes. I'm afraid so. I think I understand! Can you explain it to me? This is one of those truth is stranger than fractions things, right? What? That would be fiction, Cotty. Truth is stranger than fiction. So let me get this straight. You go off to apply for some shady as hell job where your employer somehow drugs you and turns you into a monster? When you put it that way, it sounds really stupid. And nothing leading up to that set off a red flag. You are seriously the world heavyweight champion of dumbass. Honestly, I have to agree with her. If you're dumb enough to answer a really strange ad to get some weird figurines in a very undisclosed place, then yeah. Come on, Toko. He's been through enough already. Besides, 
Getting lured in by L.E. Swag makes total sense, considering who we're talking about. Yeah, I was a victim of circumstance. A sucker for pretty figures, materialism is a literary mistress. Oh, for the love of... Do you even comprehend how much trouble you've caused everyone? You don't exist in a vacuum, you know. So apparently she probably likes me. I yield, I repent my transgressions. Can I... Can you see it in your heart to forgive me? That's the way the person... Okay, see in your heart to forgive me. So, ignoring these two for the moment... Rude. I believe introductions are in order. I'm Yuto, Yuto Tachibana. May I have your name as well? Mine is Shizuku. Shizuku Tokikaze. Tokikaze. We call ourselves the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Together, we voluntarily patrol the streets of Akihabara, keeping an eye out for trouble. He's one of us as well, and this bar serves as our base of operations. That's right, and I'm one of the central figures in our illustrious group. Name's Kaito Tachibana, and the pleasure's mine. Can I just punch him in the face? As you might have figured out, I'm Yuto's older twin brother. Best way to tell us apart? I'm the one with all the ideas. Also, you're not wearing glasses, you're wearing a really weird pink anime girl shirt. He's wearing glasses, and he's not wearing a really weird pink anime shirt. Could be to tell you two apart. Is one of those ideas being out of school and unemployed? Bitch. You shut up! You shut up and you die! Little brothers can't show up, big brothers. It's against the rules. Uh, uh, I'm speechless to that. Yes, yes, that's enough now. I'm Kati Raikunin. Raikuni. Okay. I blew on in from Finland to Jipang so I could see and do its cool busy culture. On in from Finland to Jipang. Hmm? I believe what she's trying to say is that she flew here from Finland to study the cool culture of Japan. Oh. Name's Kihachi Sugiyama. Oh, I guess. I'm she's learning Japanese. I'm the manager of this year game bar, Mogra, where people can knock back a few while they play these old classic arcade cabinets. Can I just play these classic arcade cabinets? Feel free to just call me Pops. Everybody else around here does. I already forgot your name, so it's sure. But you're welcome to call me Dear Sweet Old Man if you prefer. Alright, do I, I I just need to start a punch in the face counter? He's got a face fit for the FBI's most wanted list, doesn't he? <laughs> Not that bad, but probably should punch him in the face though. Hey. But he's a good guy, don't worry. Hey, he looks like a sad puppy. You could have said that sooner, you know. I'm Toko Sagisaka. I grew up with this dolt, and just can't seem to get away from him, despite my best efforts. Right. No need for formalities with me. Everybody just calls me by my first name. Incidentally, thanks for saving him. I happened upon him during a mission. It was good fortune, nothing more. Okay. There is one other member of our group, but she's like a rare monster spawn. She should pop eventually. Guess you'll meet her then. What? Okay. I'm kind of a nerdy, geeky guy as it is, and I don't talk like this. So if anyone out here out there is watching this, do you know anyone who actually talks like this? Is it just like a Japan thing? Is it just people thinking that that's how nerds talk? Because this is not how people talk, as far as I know. Even joking, I don't think I've ever seen someone like m make fun of gamers this, this badly. Like, is this just how certain people talk? Please let me know. So, what's the plan? Do we all pile into the police station and tell them Akiba's infested with monsters? Yeah, that sounds like a good way to get, get a nice white jacket. They'd never believe a word of it. Why not? I mean, we can show them living proof. You're one of these synthister things now yourself, right? Yeah, because I want to wear a nice white jacket. No, no, that's no good. He'd get dissected and have weird sciency tests run on him. What she said. Hmm, so going to the police would involve giving him up as a noble sacrifice. That sounds reasonable. 
Well, thought you were on my end of this. Don't even joke about that. Besides, shouldn't we be more concerned with trying to get him back to normal? Is it I mean, normal? If he stays like this, he'll start attacking people sooner or later, right? That should be no concern. He will not attack others against his will, at the very least. He... he won't? Well, what do you think? You're the one in the hot seat here. Uh... Let's look at more of these synthesizers. Let's find a way to make me human. Let's catch up with my... Let's find out more about the synthesizers. Yeah, that's a good call. And we should start by checking out the place where you interviewed. If we were to find clues anywhere, that would be the most obvious spot. Go back to the place where I was held captive. Pretty sure that place is cleaned up by now. Hmm. There's still an awful lot I don't get, though. Like, the whole story? Like, if there's hard evidence of monsters in Akiba, shouldn't the police already be on it? Until we're certain of that, all we can do is our duty as freedom fighters and investigate. Oh! Hey, Togikaze, would you care to help us out with that? What? Well, I mean, you seem pretty familiar with these things. So come on, what do you say? Sounds like she's talking to a dog. It is true that I've been researching them. I mean, she does kind of look like a poodle. But I'm being specifically targeted by them as well. <laughs> I think that ship has already sailed. No kidding. These creeps have already changed one of our guys into some kind of freaky vampire. Hey! I just happened to be so that yeah, freaky vampire. If you can help with that, we ain't gonna stop you. Alright. Okay then, perfect. Shizuku, please write your name and cell phone number in the group registry. Cell phone? I'm sorry, I don't have one of those. That's rather unusual in this day and age. But I only had a cell phone for like five months. Email address. Um. Hmm. Sounds like you're a tough one to get a hold of. I guess it would be kind of awkward to ask for your home number, huh? Actually, I haven't been home in quite some time. There were problems. Seriously? So you're an honest to goodness real life runaway, all mired in melodrama? I didn't run away exactly, and I do have a place to stay. A place with plenty of manga. They even have a shower there. Don't tell me you're staying in a manga cafe. Do you not have anywhere else to go? Mm. Hmm. Seems you've got some heavy stuff going on. Pops, you know, the upstairs here is all stark and bare and empty. Hmm? Oh yeah, you're right. I think we got some bedding squirreled away around here too. What do you say, I don't really Shizuku? feel comfortable with her staying with like. this guy. He's kind of weird. And we won't take no for an answer. Meeting you like this feels like it's gotta be more than a coincidence. Know what I mean? Having you around can only be to our benefit if we're to continue studying these monsters. It would seem to be a win for all parties. Okay. Then we all agree! The Akiba Freedom Fighters have a new member! Three cheers! Bob Omb! What? But wait. I haven't agreed to anything. Congrats, Freedom Fighter. Oh, don't go. Please, don't go. Uh... Is there a one where I want to offer her my place? There is no option for that. Let's... Don't go. Please don't go. Congrats, Freedom mm. Fighter. Alright. Just for a little while, though. Thank you for having me. Okay. So here we Freedom Fighters stand, in the midst of a maelstrom. You said you fought some of these things already, but aside from that, you ever done any real hand-to-hand -hand combat? Not at all. I can hold my own fighting games. Well, I can argue with the best of them. So what you're telling me is your fingertips and your reflexes are as quick as a hair, but not the rest of you, that it? 
It's pretty much. See, I'm getting a little worried now. Hey, I know. A friend of mine runs a coliseum in Akiba. Or a battle arena, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Might be a good place to get yourself caught up on the ba- For real? What kind of person is this? Just a martial arts nut, but she's- All right, that's just- You know what? That's enough. That's just- We I gotta do the tutorial what? stuff. It's not a bad idea, though. I get it. So whom will you escort to the arena? Shizuku or Toko? Shizuku or Toko? Who do I want to come with me? I want to have Shizuku or Toko. I don't know. I kind of like Toko. I feel like she has, she has a crush on me. Let's go for her. What? Why me? I... I guess it makes sense, actually. You go by yourself and they'll wipe the floor with you. So for your sake, yeah, I'll go along. The battle arena is on the other side of Main Street and right past Junk Street. You got that? Come on, let's get this over with. Okay. Knock him dead! Okay. Let's go. Change of partners. You can change partners by talking to a person who wishes to accompany you. Yay. You have a moment. Maybe? Wondering if there's anyone you have your eye on. I'm fairly perceptive in matters of the heart, so you can anything you think. Okay. Let's talk with him. Talk to you two. I doesn't care much about you either way. Toko doesn't care much about you either way. For a moment, Toko likes you the most. Yay! Hello. <laughs> Yay! Okay, let's leave. I'm out. I'm bouncing. Alright, so let's go do this. Oh god, that's loud! Yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, sound street volume off. Ah, uh, much better. Don't know why I ran and ran out, but fair enough. Loading. Where the hell did, did he come from? Bam! Cross the street. I'm gonna take a picture of her. Hello. Gonna just aim this properly. And tilt the camera. That's if we could settle this case quickly. Let's back up a little. Set! Jesus. Ah! The Get out of the way! Oh! Oh jeez! Get in front of that car. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. Back up. Get off the road. Get off the road. Give me your pants. Ow. Ow. Let's go. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, Jesus! Give your pants! Leave her alone! Beat! Uh oh. Where did she come from?
There are so many people who want to fight! Why are there so many people who want to fight?! This is all about Street Brawl! Give me your shirt! Okay, let's go. Ow. Give me a shirt. Give me a short. Ha 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 Uh oh. Okay. That was bad! Run! 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 No. Uh oh. But no. <laughs> Ow! My face! No. That was a mistake! No. Hey! Leave! No. Her! Alone! No. Uh oh, my shirt! No! Well, that ended poorly. The police. So, trees are not protected by police. If you're gonna. You seem. If you're seen fighting in town, they might. Tell a terror whistle, and you're not careful, you could be arrested <laughs> for some play. I have to find. I'll release you, but. I you will have to pay a fine for your transgression. No! I expect I won't see you here again. How smart for you. You correct such behavior, you know? Well, I guess it's no choice. Just know if I see you here again, you get the speech. Well! Guess I better... Probably put on a, some sh a shirt. Oh, I don't have my fancy jacket anymore. That's a shame. Well, that was fun. So that was def. Oh, hello. Mm. All right. So where are we going now? That was. Definitely yeah. interesting. <laughs> Whoa. Uh. Wow, I was not expecting that to happen at all. You're talking to me? Mm. Mm. Uh, you want to have fun? Sure, let's go in here. Shopping. There's various shops, items, weapons. Okay. Let's buy some stuff. Mm. Two glow sticks. Each with each one three prom making for six individual points. 
Now it's the time to show the world that you're made of rave like mad. Uh, giant poster. Hmm. Fundage. Do I not have enough? Alright. Guess I'm broke apparently. What the hell is fundage? Alright, well let's go to the arena I guess. Oh, I can't jump over people. Can I jump over the railing? I cannot. That's actually like a pretty well... Nice looking game. Oops. Very... I don't know, very colorful. It feels like I'm like, actually walking into like a... Japanese city, like Tokyo or something. Like, it feels nice. I like it. Jesus! Oh, it's very open, very large. All these shops I can't really shop at. Get out of the way, people. Okay. Well now, it's rare to get customers at this hour. You look rather ordinary to me. But perhaps there's more to you than meets the eye. Okay. What? Why are your eyes so weird? Oh, where are my manners? I'm the manager of this establishment. You may call me Antoinette. Why are eyes so weird? Well, I don't own the arena. The one who does is presently on a journey. So I am in charge for the time being. Now then, let's get started, shall we? Those who win do receive reward money. But the true reward is the... However, not everyone has the heart of a champion. If you wish to stand victorious within this ring, you must... I will now test that worth, if I may. Are you ready? Ah, uh, I accept your challenge. I was born ready. Please be gentle. I break easily. I accept your challenge. I'm with him. We're fighting as a duo. As you wish. Please, step into the ring. Huh. Wait till you see what we can do. They said there wasn't a soul in Uchikanda who would dare cross us. And on the way, we got into a fight with the, the police. So it's pretty good. Just like a Japanese, like... Grand Theft Auto, but without stealing vehicles, you just strip people. If you're gonna keep fighting these censusers, things were going to need a secret weapon. Some techniques that make short work of them. So let's get your hands, let's get all trained up, at least enough so you don't get beat down by the damn things. Chain strip. Immediately after successfully stripping an article of clothing, you may have a chance to keep your momentum going if the durability of another's full garments is below a certain threshold. A button prop will appear on the screen that indicates your eligibility to strip again. Press the corresponding button? Okay. So if I see A, press A, B, B. Okay. Let's go! Come on! <laughs> Hey, you! Uh, one, two, go! One, two, go! 
Oh. Ow. Okay. Give me Not your shirt. Stop. Give me your shirt. Give me your pants. Give me your pants. Oh, no. Ha. Give me your hat. Give me your pants. I have a strippy machine! Yeah! Haha, <laughs> I burned your underwear off. I don't know how I just did this, but. Ha 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 ha! Oh, that was fun. Are we done? Oh. I picked up their underwear. That is weird. Well done. Though considering who sent you here, I and you, you're Soggy Sokka's daughter, no? I've heard tell of your mischievous ways for some time, but I never imagined you were so strong. Huh. Am I really that well known? Here's your pass. With this, you may come make use of the arena any time you wish. Please, make this call us... Thank you very much. I yeah. have some shopping to do on the way back to Mogra. So you go on ahead. I'll see you later. Okay. Yay, I beat some people up. No. Boxing gloves. Boxer shorts. Alright, so let's check out my, out my new equipment. I got some new weapons. Boxing gloves. They're slightly weaker, but I'm sure they're faster. There's a water pistol. Uh, cheap windbreaker. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Uh, dress pants. That is pretty damn stylish. Striped pants. Eh. Yeah, let's go with these. Ordinary sneakers. How about underwear? Boxer shorts. I cannot wear that, or I cannot wear that. Okay. Okay, that's really, really tight, but that's... There we go, we look pretty stylish. Excellent! We are looking pretty damn sexy. Look at us. Look at that. Look at that. So, I think this is a good place to end this. Um, I kind of expected to do more in this episode, but... I wasn't expecting to, um... Kind of... Kind of street riot? <laughs> that was something I wasn't expecting, but... So worth it. Oh, yeah! So... I need to get better with the fighting. It's really... I don't know. Blocky. I need to like, get used to like, the countering and stuff. But, uh... I, mean, I probably shouldn't have picked the play this on a hard mode. But... Make things a little more interesting. Might regret it later. If things seem to get too hard, I'll just play through everything again and get back to the spot on the uh, normal difficulty. But I'm a man, I can do it. If something happens and the fight gets too hard, I'll do it off screen or something. Or just do it until I beat it and then just edit it in. Who knows? But thanks again for watching. So un until next time, keep playing your video games. Peace out, dude.